every kitchen in America had enough chickens attached to it to eat all of the scraps coming out of that kitchen. No egg industry or commerce would be necessary in the whole country. Joel Salatin. Are you excited for the tractor ride? Yeah. Yeah. Broom, broom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We started off with a permanent chicken coop for our chickens, but after learning more, we wanted to be able to move them around to green grass. So last spring, I had quite a bit of time off because of COVID, so I built this chick shop. I was building it on the cheap, so I used scrap metal, scrap lumber, and bicycle wheels. It all seems to be holding up good except for the bicycle wheels. So today we'll be repairing the coop and losing the chickens. I had several people tell me they liked the Jeff story in the last video. I asked Jeff if it's alright, but I didn't tell him which ones I'm going to tell. So if he wants to get back at me, he can start his own YouTube channel. There'll be a big dead spot in our yard from all this manure. So, I gotta get something done about it. And they've been digging holes everywhere trying to get dust baths. So I'll be trying to remedy that too, so we don't get holes all over our yard get her teeth jarred out whenever we're mowing. Are you having fun, buddy? Uh-oh. I'm going to go ahead and get this coop out of here so I don't have to work in chicken manure. This is another story that has chickens in it. This story happened less than a year after the chicken hop story. When 13 year old Jeff was taking care of the chickens, he would sit in the coop and daydream of this girl in school that he had a crush on. And he finally took it to the next level and scratched Jeff loves Susie inside of hearts all over the foam board insulation inside the coop. I'm going to attempt to set this thing on its back so I can take the wheels off and replace them. Well, that wasn't so bad. There's a few changes I want to make to this thing. Justin Rhodes put his um, in the middle so there's no tongue weight. You can easily move it around. Then you got to use a kickstand. And it has caused nothing but trouble. And then it's a pain to move it. And so, I don't mind some tongue weight, so I'm going to move the wheels down to about, about three quarters of the way back. And uh, then there won't be any need for a kickstand, and it'll just be easier to move. Hopefully I've got everything in these boxes that I need to fix the chick shaw. I went with smaller wheels than what Justin Rhodes did just because they were quite a bit cheaper but 
I think these are the 20 inch and he may have used 26 inch but I don't know may have to may have to end up shortening these legs a bit but we'll see I just bought one bar and I gotta cut it in half for the axle Well, next thing we know, we're moving out of state. Jeff finds out just a day before we moved that Susie's dad had bought the chickens and the coop. He hurriedly went desperately trying to scratch it all off. I'd say Jeff was probably glad we moved out of state. Brackets have these divots in them that holds this bar in place. And another, and the, I think the divots are made to keep it from sliding out of the ends. But if you hammer it on there, it also holds the bar in place. And then let this bracket stick just past this uh, two by. And the bearing rides against it keeps the wheel from hitting the the wood and it's got these little caps that just slide onto the axle not just slide on, you gotta hammer them on there and these little uh, tabs keep it from coming back off and hold your wheel on there see how well they hold.
Well, that solved the broken wheel problem, but to solve the holes in the yard problem, I'm going to make a dust bath for them inside their coop that they'll hopefully like better than digging holes in my yard. If you like the Jeff stories and would like me to throw in an occasional story, let me know in the comments. Click here to see more great videos like this one.